Okay, welcome to the new Trading Week traders. Uh, so as you can see over here, today it's the 23 of September. Okay, it's uh, 9.51 a.m. Uh, over at our country. So I uh, hope we had a good weekend. Okay, we personally had a very good weekend. So that's why we didn't really update much the channel. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we want to prepare this uh, market outlook video for you uh, to help you in your analysis. Okay, because we also expect it to be a difficult trading week. Okay, so anyway, back to the Forex calendar, uh, which we always start our video with. Okay, so as you can see over here, um, today is Monday. And uh, you can see it's pretty intense, the week, right? Okay, so you see that uh, ECB, uh, President Draghi is going to speak probably about the QE. Okay, uh, QE has always been on the uh, kind of a discussion topic for the past couple of weeks. So that's why um, Euro has been really difficult to trade. Okay. Then after that, um, this two, mm, not too, it's not too uh, important. Okay, doesn't cause much issues. Okay, uh, but this Kiwi thing, um, right, RBNZ rate statement and uh, cash rate, this one normally uh, is quite uh, high impact. Okay, but the, 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 the one that causes uh, the market to be choppy is actually this one over here, FOMC press conference. Okay, so uh, if you've been following us for some time, you know that uh, we always talk about how um, FOMC is something that you, you, you want to stay out of, or rather, you know, the trading week you want to stay out of, meaning that um, if we could just choose to trade, we just trade, um, you know, like when do we trade, we'll prefer to trade after this as well as on Friday. Okay, but also we understand that you guys want to trade, that's why we carry on the send signals out. But ideally, uh, if we could choose, we'll prefer not to trade uh, the entire week until, you know, uh, after this has passed, okay? Because it's like last week, I mean, if you look at the markets last week, you had um, you had BOJ, right? You had all these FOMC. Same thing, it was very difficult to trade because um, the market is very choppy normally before FOMC, okay? So if you lost money last week, then you probably understand uh, what we mean that, uh, you know, it's best not to trade before FOMC. So this week is just the same as last week. So uh, the best you can do is not to trade. But nonetheless, uh, we'll prepare you well for the week ahead uh, because uh, we know you want to trade. Okay, so anyway, let's go to the charts. Okay, so let me just adjust the screen. Okay, so maybe I start off by talking about the currency pairs that we want to analyze. So you can see I watch this over here. There is a DXY, which is the dollar index. Okay, if you don't know why you analyze a dollar index, uh, please watch our other videos. We talk about um, why we use a dollar index, okay? Because dollar index basically represents a uh, US dollar, okay? It gives you insights about into where US dollar is uh, headed to next. Okay, so we'll analyze, of course, the majors, Euro, Pound, Kiwi, Dollar Care, Aussie, and Dollar Yen. And of course, we end off with Go, okay? So let's get into it. So this is DXY. Okay, you can see over here that... Um, Market has been uh, pretty much consolidating here. This is going nowhere. So as obvious as it get, it's a range right now. So let me just change the H4 chart. So you can see that uh, it's kind of more sl slightly leaning towards bullish because you kind of have a left shoulder here, a head and a right shoulder. Okay, But the problem with this is that uh, there is no sign that this uh, consolidation has ended. Okay, If you draw the neckline like this, okay. Simple things. I mean, um, this is just a very simple chart pattern. I mean, you've been trading for some time. You've probably heard it a thousand and one times, right? Uh, inverted head and shoulders, okay? So, there's no, really, there's no break over here yet, okay? And, you know, um, the levels over here, this one, the recent low. Okay, let me just change this color. Okay, maybe just put it to red because it's a bit hard to see. Okay, so, you know, support is not breaking. Resistance is not breaking either. Okay, so we would think that uh, expect 98.18 to be supported. Okay, in fact, if you look at the departure, okay, departure of this level, um, it's quite strong. Okay, it's quite strong. This departure here and versus this departure here. Okay, let me just draw it for you. The first departure, I mean, it's strong, but the second departure is even stronger. Okay, you see two full candles. This one, you took three candles, one black candle and just one uh, big uh, white candle here. Okay, but this one is stronger. So uh, with that being said, we, we believe that uh, 98.18 will be a good level uh, for dollar to be supported. Okay, now it's towards the high side and it's kind of in like a no man's land. So um, we we'll probably expect a dollar to hit here first. So you might see temporary 
weakness in dollar okay towards this level but when it's at this level watch out for um longs okay one more thing i want to say is that uh there, there definitely a lot of stop losses around this region okay i mean it's quite obvious why there's a lot of stop loss because you know this is like a swing low and this is a swing low so people who bought here or bought here or they you know they bought somewhere here they chase the the, the trade uh they'll probably have put their stop loss here so what might happen is that price might even uh, come down like that okay and uh come back okay this is quite common okay especially this week uh, you know like market is as, as we said right uh there's fomc so we expect market to to be very weepy okay constipated so this is uh quite likely okay we don't as in it's possible that price will just do this but um I think it has higher probability to actually go down first. Whether it, it gets supported here or it, it do a you know a fake out of this level, uh, that one we need to see. Okay, so that's it for um BXY. So now let's move on to uh dollar index. Eh, sorry, not dollar index. Euro dollar. Okay, so euro dollar. Um, let's look at the day. Okay, day chart is very similar. Uh, we are still pretty much in a downtrend, right? Because this is a low, this is a high, and this is a lower low. Okay. And this is potentially a lower high. Okay. Okay. So let me just delete this. I don't want to have too much clutter on our charts. Okay, anyway, so uh, H4. Okay, what's interesting about this H4 is that uh, you kind of see that there's a head and shoulders. Um, this left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Okay. As like BXY, there's no confirmation of this pattern. Okay. Even if you look at the micro pattern, which is uh, here, kind of like a double top, okay, you don't really see a very conclusive close. What do I mean? Uh, look at this, uh, this, this neckline here. It's broken and then you know price is back up. And uh, this is also a fake out because uh, this was the recent low and price just you know stopped people out below it and it seems to be going up now. Okay, so actually this seems like a good setup. Okay, maybe after this video we will um buy into euro dollar okay All right then this is in alignment with uh, our dxy analysis which say that dollar will probably have to weaken first because uh, this looks like a good trade if you were to enter here you just put a stop loss below here it's like a, a 30 pip stop loss okay potentially aiming the uh, recent high here okay probably it's a uh, one is to 1.2 risk to reward there about okay so uh, euro dollar seems like a good trade okay we expect a uh, dollar to euro dollar to go up Okay, after this breakout, probably towards uh, this recent high first. Okay. Okay, on to the next currency, uh, pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar. Uh, let me just clear everything. Okay, pound dollar is definitely uptrend. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of confirmations. Uh, it's the first bottom, second bottom. Okay, neckline is broken. I think previous video we we talked about this. Neckline is broken. Okay, if you look at uh this. Okay, it's obvious that we are in our trend. Okay, so now the question is, uh, where can we buy? Okay, uh, you look at H four right now. Um, there's actually like a, like a trend line. If you draw, connect this to this. Okay, so price is kind of sitting at trend line now. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, this is a high, this is a low, and this is a high high. Okay, so price have not violated the uh this this low here. So we still expect it to uh to go higher. Okay, to go something like this. Okay, so uh, if you're gonna buy, uh, just watch this level. Make sure that uh, one point two four three seven is not violated. Okay, this seems like a very good level. Okay, especially if you draw Fibonacci. Okay, it should be F seven. Okay, so it seems to be supported. So we see that uh, if it bounce, it probably hit towards at least one by two six two seven next level. Okay, this one very clear. Nothing much to say about it. Okay, next currency pair, Kiwi dollar. Uh, this one is very, very, very obvious. Okay, what happened? Okay, very obvious. Let me just clear. Okay, we are in a downtrend. Low, high, lower low. Okay, we are in a downtrend. So the question right now is, uh, let's say uh, we know we are in a downtrend and we want to be shorting this, but uh, where do we short? So if we just look left, you realize that there's a previous... Uh, this is a previous low here, yeah? okay? So one of the tricks that we always teach uh, is to switch to a line chart to find the best level, okay? So if you just take here, just draw it here, or this level, this level will probably be better because there are two touches, one touch, two touch. 
uh, switch back to the candlestick. Okay, we are looking at 0.62929. Okay, so a uh, pullback toward this level you want to be selling. Okay, I also believe that that's a good Fibonacci level. Okay, if you just draw it, yep, it kind of line up with a uh, 0.618. Okay, so very straightforward. Sell pullbacks to 0 0.62929. Okay, next currency, dollar cat. Okay, um, dollar cat. Okay, dollar cat is a bit more tricky. Okay, quite tricky actually. Okay, if you if you draw this, connect this low to this low, you realize that there's some form of resistance over here. Okay. So it's still very tricky right now. Okay. Um you kind of see a potential uh, left shoulder here, head and right shoulder. Okay, but we don't see confirmation yet. So now price is very, this one is very hard to trade. So you see, um, you have resistance here, you have support here. Okay, you have the neckline here. So we will advise you, if you, are, you want to look at this pair, don't trade this first. If you want to trade, wait for the breakout of this, uh, you know, resistance, then uh, trade the pullback now. Okay. Trade the pullback now and then take the trade out. Okay. Otherwise, if it breaks down, wait for it to break down. Okay. Then sell a pullback to this uh something like that. Okay. For now, just wait. Uh, as we said, this way it's going to be tough. If uh you got to be more patient. Okay. Be patient about your trades. Uh, don't be in a rush to take a trade. Okay. Wait for things to happen. Wait for key levels to be broken before you take a trade. Okay. The worst thing you can do is to trade because you want to trade or because you have an itchy finger. Okay, next currency, Aussie dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar is kind of like Kiwi dollar. Uh, it's very simple. This is a low, this is a high, and this is a lower low, and this is a lower high, okay? And lower low again. So basically, we are bearish. Okay, this one is very straightforward. So we are bearish, we want to be selling. So if you look left, right, this was previous support which also coincide with this level here, okay? So maybe if you are not sure which is the exact level you want, highlight this zone, switch to the line chart, okay? Try to find the best levels using this line chart. So you see that there's one touch here, two touch here, kind of, uh, actually, let me just adjust, okay? Um, yep, or rather this level will be better. Yeah, this level will be better. Here would be better because there's one touch here, two touch here. Okay, so switch back to the candlestick. Okay, so we'll be looking for pullbacks to 0 0.6783. Okay, um, just take note, I'm not saying that you just put sell limit there. Uh, you should watch for reaction at that level. Okay, especially this week, uh, it's uh, tend to be weepy, so you want to have a bit more confirmation. Uh, watch this level for reaction. If you see that this level is holding, then you take a shot down. Okay, you look, use Fibonacci. Let's drag it down. We also probably have confluence okay, with a 0 0.5, okay, somewhere there, about there. And then you can shot it down towards uh, probably this, this structural low 0 0.671. Okay, this low is over here. So let me just draw it here. Okay, something like that. Okay, short bias on this one. Okay, next currency, dollar yen. Um, okay, dollar yen. Let me see. Okay, dollar yen is also pretty tricky. Pretty tricky, okay, because uh, you kind of have a. This is kind of like a left shoulder, okay. This is a head, but the problem right now is that you don't see a right shoulder yet, okay. And this there seems to be structural support over here, okay. Oh, sorry, let me just draw it like that, here, okay. So there's a zone of support here, and price is a. Uh, towards this zone of support. So what we'll probably see is uh um we'll probably see that price will come up here okay and then come back down. Okay but um it's very hard to trade and I don't think we actually want to be buying here because uh I mean the trends I mean the, the impulses right this is impulsive corrective impulsive so the, the bias is more bearish not bullish but that doesn't mean that uh, we want to be uh you know buying here Okay, doesn't mean just because it's support we want to be buying because price might just do this. It might just do this. Okay, so you want to be very patient. Let price retrace higher, then you shut it down. Okay. Okay, last currency pair that we have for you today is a uh, gold. Okay, gold. Everyone's favorite. Uh, okay, 
let's see. Okay, gold seems like it broke out of a consolidation. So if you count the candles, there's one candle, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is another level. This spike high is another level that you want to be watching. But nonetheless, last Friday closed above one, two, three, four, five. So I think it kind of is it's kind of a good valid breakout. Okay, in fact, today, uh, this morning, the Asia session, it seems to have tested this uh, high and uh, you know it's it's just rallying up nicely. So bullish bias on this one. Okay, but as I said, you are very close to here, okay, and you probably already too late to be buying. Okay, instead, what you want to do is you hope for retracement back into this zone here. Okay, and then uh <coughs> sorry, apologies. Okay, uh then towards here. Okay, so be looking at this entire zone, uh one five one one point five to uh one five oh three. Okay, look for uh here to buy towards towards. Uh, this resistance, but we don't think that this resistance is very strong. Okay, uh, but of course, definitely lock in some profit here if you can. And then the next level that we're probably looking at would be uh the new uh, recent highs, which is here. Okay, uh, let me just draw a line for you. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, so yep, I think that's the analysis we have prepared for this week. Okay, of course, uh, we have a lot of other pairs that we look into, like Euro Cat, Euro Pound, but um. We don't want to make this video too long and uh, these are the majors that most people trade anyways. So uh, if you have a question, uh, write in to us, email us, comment down below. Okay, if you have not, if this is the first time you have watched our videos, check out other videos because uh, we create content like this every week. We have market analysis videos like this, we have tips, we have strategies, uh, we have uh, how to use indicators, right? We try to cover everything. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Okay, you have a question or you know have some issues uh, in your trading, write in to us so that we know what kind of content to create for you. Okay, so till then we'll see you in the next video.